as people start playing Battlefield 2042, massive problems start to creep in. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So today we have one thing to talk about and that is Battlefield 2042. With Call of Duty Vanguard struggling to find their footing and plagued with a bunch of issues and bugs, people were looking at Battlefield to potentially save the day. Unfortunately, it does not look like that will be likely. For Battlefield, it was always going to be an uphill battle competing against Call of Duty and to make things worse, Halo Infinite has now also dropped almost a month earlier and with that people cannot help but make comparisons. Although I personally believe that Battlefield is in a better state than Call of Duty, the bar is not very high and at the end of the day ultimately suffers from the same problems. As per Kotaku when a round of all out warfare starts up and 63 other internet strangers run towards the first objective while explosions rain down overhead, it feels like what's about to unfold next will be something surprising, bold and special. Instead, it is a train wreck. The chaos that ensues has a somewhat predictable quality to it. Squads split up, players try to run quickly to where the action is only to be picked off by snipers or ripped to shreds by flankers. They then rush to respawn because they know nobody is coming to revive them. Vehicles smash into walls or violently whips around as gunners try to aim without getting nauseous. Eventually a match ends then you win or you lose but this outcome will probably only feel tangibly related to whatever larger struggle transpired. One of the core issues stems from the fact that Battlefield's traditional roles has been remixed to hell. Heroes have replaced the assault, medic, engineer and scout archetypes and is now a mix and match perks like wingsuits and grappling hooks with sniper and rifles and rocket launchers. It is liberating to mess around with but only severely amplifies the existing chaos, especially when it's easy to quickly identify the specific capabilities and bolt your surrounding teammates. On top of that, as I have said, there are also many other issues with the game. They suffer a lot from bugs that sometimes make it very hard to play. You see players running into invisible walls, falling through the map, there are glitches that make makes the game very hard to play, you experience plenty of frame drops that can be distracting as well as texture pop-ins. Overall the game does look really good both on PC and on the current generation of consoles but when you compete against more polished games like Halo Infinite unfortunately comparisons will be made. The fact that there are also alternatives means that people will be less inclined to wait for fixes and instead just move over and play other similar titles that does not suffer from the same problems. Battlefield 2042 can be a fun experience and when all of the issues are sorted out can actually be a really good game. There are plenty of good qualities that accompany the bad ones but when the bad ones break your game it does not matter how good the other parts of the game is. If Battlefield wants to continue to compete they will have to sort out these issues but on that note this is where I'm going to win. Ended. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face and I hope to see you again soon.